Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Friday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome today? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling welcome this afternoon let's give him a big hand god bless you richly beloved and friends sincerely from my heart i release that very special blessing on this friday afternoon upon your life and i pray that god will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every area in your life and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah thank you jesus let me break it down today i pray that god will bless your homes bless your marriage with husband and wife bless your business bless your finances he will bless you on the job give you favor and promotion on the job and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah thank you jesus praise god hallelujah cover every believer under the precious blood i cover everyone who listening to me today under the blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness this afternoon every spirit of witchcraft phobia demonic forces evil blacks generational curses with a fourth second third or fourth generational curse I break in the name of Jesus. I reverse in the name of Jesus. The blood is against every curse upon your life. I break every chain. I break every barrier. I break every fetter. I break every evil. I break every work of darkness. For whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free today in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Isn't he awesome? Isn't he great? Isn't he mighty, my friends and beloved? Hallelujah. Praise God. Father God, I pray you dip this man of God in the precious blood of Jesus. Build a hedge around my life. Dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit as I minister your words this Friday afternoon. I pray that your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Praise the Lord, my friends. We need to understand that the enemies that God allows into our lives, the enemy that God allows in our lives, we have to be very careful. Yes, my friends. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Why did God allow Elijah to be haunted by the evil queen? Jezebel. Yes, my friends, why did God allow the three Hebrew boys to be thrown into a fiery furnace? Yes, why did God allow David to come up against a giant warrior like Goliath? Yes, or why did God allow Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den? Today, my friends, in fact, as Christian believers, we can be forgiven for asking why does God even allow us to have enemies? 
Well, to tackle this question this afternoon, let's briefly look into the relationship between David and Saul. Then we look at Nehemiah, Elijah, and Jezebel. Yes, my friends, and Joseph, they're not forgetting Joseph, King David, typically any rivalry that we can see today in movies, TV shows, books and comics yes my friends all have two main characters that hate each other although all rivalry stories today pale in comparison to the rivalry of king saul and david there was such a brutal tension between them however my friends there is a major factor that makes this rivalry different my friends with king saul and david the strife is completely completely one-sided throughout the story saul is absolutely obsessed with killing david in cold blood yes david wishes to avoid this conflict but just cannot seems to get Saul off his back. Yes, my friends, David wishes to be at peace with Saul, but it is not able, not able to obtain peace. Why? Because in 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 6 to 9, clearly tells us we see where Saul begins to hate David and becomes his enemy. David and Saul, along with the army of Israel, Return from a great victory against the Philistines, as seen in chapter 17, my friends, David accomplishes the mighty task of defeating Goliath. This is one of the most ironic and celebrated stories that we Christians cherish today. Beloved and friends, people in the city were so happy that they were singing songs. This is where things go sour for David's soul because comes engage with jealousy and ladies of the city come out singing a song of triumph and say this this is Saul has struck down his thousand thousands and David has killed ten thousands David is accredited with slaying 10,000 while Saul only thousands in my opinion my friend Saul has still made it he has made it he has plenty to be content with he is the king yes beautiful women are singing songs about him and he gets credited for being a mighty warrior responsible for killing thousands of the nations of Israel's enemies not bad at all not bad at all and yet verses 9 tells us uh, from that moment forward yes my friends uh, Saul yes so seek the David the following event uh, consists of chapters and chapters of Saul doing everything in his power to eliminate David uh, my friends we see in many in Psalms come from this time period uh, where David is constantly running on fumes just trying to escape uh, Get at the hands of the king of King Saul, my friends. God may allow our enemies to have the upper hand at times. Yes, but ultimately, ultimately, our lives is still in his hands, in the hands of God. David prays, runs, and hides. Yes, my friends, but what else does he do? David, my friends, although already secretly anointed king, he was anointed king, although he is well within the rights of defending himself, chooses to wait wait on God. We see that God eventually does step in, in to rescue David from Saul and ends up using David to accomplish mighty things. Yes, David becomes one of the most important characteristics in, in the Bible. My friends, hallelujah. Also, Nehemiah, there is a worse time to have personal enemies than when you are in the midst of hard project that must be completed yes my friends no not really hallelujah these kinds of battle makes accomplishing your task so much harder yes this was a situation my friends Nehemiah found himself to make matters worse yes he had many people relying on him and looking to him for direction Nehemiah was a leader and he had a mission which was to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem them. 
but he had enemies he had enemies he had uh, opposition his enemies use various spear in their attempts to disrupt nehemiah's work but the man of god stayed strong he stayed strong unfortunately God help him to stay strong. His enemy's son, Baal and Tobiah, aligned themselves was against the Hebiah, and he labored tirelessly to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, which was in ruins. My friends, however, God was right there with him the whole time. Hallelujah. We must always remember that enemies typically come at the most vulnerable times. Yes, even so, my friends, in our vulnerability and our weaknesses, what God says, God is. God is strong. God is strong. And Elijah, Elijah, not only do enemies often come at times of vulnerability and weaknesses, my friends, they also can come after times of major successes. Enemies of God's people love taking us from the mountaintop of successes into a valley of darkness yes my friends the key is allowing God to lift us out of that valley the key is listening for his voice through the pain and suffering an example of this is found in the book of first kings first kings ahab perhaps the most wicked king that the nation of israel had my friends was already an established enemy of the prophet himself isaiah isaiah the prophet however the story told takes a unique twist when we find out that even more wicked than himself is his wife Jezebel. Yes, she also is no fan of God's prophet Elijah. Elijah is placed in Jezebel cross here after he accomplished a mighty work after he accomplished a mighty work for God in first Kings chapter 18 he defeated 450 prophets of Baal the story is such a highlight of the Old Testament is truly and encouraging to our souls this morning when we feel that we cannot overcome obstacles God delivers Elijah by showing up with fire down from heaven yes my friends devouring the sacrifice prepared by Elijah right before everyone eyes yes my friends he then goes to slay those terrible prophets yes this in, 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 enrages Jezebel in the following chapter yes first Kings chapter 19 one to two clearly tells us the Bible says Ahab told Jezebel that Elijah had done what he had done and how he had killed all the fallen the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, he said to Elijah, you may be the gods to do me and more also. Yes, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow, Jezebel told Elijah, the, sanct the sanctification of, jo of the job well done quickly fades away Elijah received this message uh, and when an enemy Jezebel must have been she must have sent uh, stripes down the spine of Elijah yes my friends 450 prophets of Baal false prophets uh, aligned contrary to Elijah did not persuade him to move an inch he mocked them, he mocked them, laughed and defeated them with ease by God's hands, my friends. And uh, however, he was on, on, on another level, he was on another level. We see in verses 3 that he was uh, he was afraid and he rose and ran for his life and became and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. My friends, Elijah flees, fearing for his life. Yes, into the willingness to be alone and hide, hide. Yet the Bible tells us, even in the time of fear and anguish, even with death looming at the door, at the hands of a prophetic enemy, my friends, Elijah is comforted. He is comforted by Almighty God and angels, angels, angels sent to provide him with food and water and encourage. God speaks to Elijah and lets him know that his mission is not 
over and not not to give up my friends please never give up my friends never give up you still have a life worth living and god will call you home in his perfect timing yes in the perfect timing you are still alive breathing there is still there is still hope and finally my friends let's look at joseph joseph this is another fan fascinating story of how god allows enemies in the life of his people yes we already see tension rising with joseph and his brothers but there the trouble really begins my friends is in genesis chapter 37 where his brothers sell him into slavery yes considering the fact that their first idea was to kill him I suppose being sold wasn't so bad, although his story ends in God's guiding, guiding Joseph to excel to the top, second only to Pharaoh of Egypt. My friends, there were fewer things more depressing to think about than your own family wishing to harm you. Yes, and I know this is sad reality for many people in our world today. Many people are harmed even by their own family members yes my friends sometimes God allows these enemies to oppress his people even though they are meant to be the closest relationships as a man or woman can have in his life I will submit to you that even in these dark dark realities God can use it for good yes my friends God was with Joseph every step of the way and God is with us every step of the way as well he was able to use a horrible situation joseph was in and accomplish amazing things yes for his people through joseph my friends god allowed a short victory joseph enemy had over over him to shape the course of the children of israel for many years to come yes my friends perhaps they are enemies you have personally had that may even be your own kin your own kin perhaps god will use these events to help others in the future yes my friends i will never don't play or cologne something evil that a person has done true that from even their own family but i do want you to provide hope today that god is present true in all and can use it use it my friends for you are you hearing the man of God today yes my friends for your good have you ever faced a situation there was bigger than something completely out of your control my friends I mean a situation so big so big you cannot even seem to, to look beyond my friends a problem a problem so stubborn that it just wouldn't go away yes my friends in this situation God day after day day after Today it feels as though the devil is constantly reminding you of how impossible it is or how you'll never never overcome what you're facing my friends but you see this is a scheme a scheme from the enemy hallelujah the devil is working to distract us yes the enemy wishes you to magnify the problem and belittle God my friends he wants you to immediately to meditate on the difficulty instead of the word of God and he does this my friends to get our attention to change our focus and to get our, our focus on the sea size of the problem you will forget about what the size of your God is however my friends one of the best way to ignore the devil's voice and remain focused on the Lord today is to look back at where he has all what he has already done to work back in all of our victories in the past and remind ourselves today that no matter what giant raises up before us our God our Lord already defeated it yes my friends when David was getting ready to face Goliath he said 
the Lord deliver me out of the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear. Yes, my friends, he will deliver me out of the hands of this Philistine. And so, my friends, now I want to encourage you today and tell you that you are more than a conqueror in Jesus. Let's give him a big hand. I want you to know greater is he that is in you than he that is uh, who is attacking you today. Hallelujah. Now the Bible in First John tells us uh, 5 verse 4 it says for everyone born of God everyone born of God overcomes the world yes my friends this is victory that overcome the world in our faith hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus what the name of the enemy you're coming up against today it is depression yes it is some sort of addiction today or some of the, of the enemy they feel is called loss are you facing loss or another enemy is 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 anxiety today you haven't been defeated by the situation but you are not walking in victory my friends either praise God whatever it is you're coming up against today I want to remind you that you are an overcomer in Jesus mighty name so rebuke it rebuke it in Jesus name hallelujah amen praise God an enemy isn't just someone who is opposing you it can also be a sin a sin struggling you're struggling with my friends it could be something within you and you need to you need God to take care of it like jealousy bitterness yes or pride today yes and let me tell you something this day my friends where God is at work the devil will also be at work yes my friends but he's working in opposition to the Lord he is working to try and disrupt or discourage any move of God among his among his people my friends you see that when we sit uh, sit down to fulfill God vision for our lives and all of the enemy external plots have failed my friends all of his external attacks have been blocked what the Bible tells us do you think happens when all of the devil external plots a fear he attacks he attacks from within are you hearing the man of God now there is not such a thing as big sins and little sins but all are sin in the sin in God's sight there's God see God eyes but guess that even what you consider to be a small little sin today those little sins will lead you to commit that which considered to be the bigger the big sin, this type of thinking cause you to cross one line. Yes, my friends, and then another, hallelujah, and another line until you become someone who will never intend to be. Be, I'm proud of myself for getting a promotion. I'm proud of my, my ability. Did you see that I did that? Yes, that's all me. Yes, my friends, that's the next thing. We know, we know the spirit of pride has a door to creep in my friends instead of saying thank God for my promotion yes of saying I did that by the grace of God do you see my friends the difference the difference the devil will try and plant a seed within you yes my friends it can affect you physically yes that's what I'm talking about when I say name your enemy today take a good look honestly look at yourself today what is the devil trying to use to distract you from an effective effective Christian life what he's using to discourage you doubtfully thought doubtful thoughts thoughts of insecurity yes or inadequacy name your enemy today and rebuke rebuke it rebuke it and we all have the one the one my friends one there is all oh, there's so holy Holy, so saved that uh, have no internal private thing. They are dealing with my friends. Uh, the Bible says, but the Bible says, those who belongs to Christ uh, Jesus or the Lord have crucified the flesh. Uh, 
with its passions and desires that verse is all about and then define that sin within within that ungodly desire that unhealthy unhealthy passion yes and then saying no to no to it my friends get to the point where we say my love for god is greater greater than my love for anything else in this world that's how you crucify your flesh my friends listen to the man of god so if your enemy is is bitterness it has to go if it is unforgiveness that has to go today in the name of jesus if it's low esteem stand for it no more no more i encourage you to do these three things today if you are to overcome the enemy, my friends, firstly, take your eyes off the problem hallelujah, and focus focus your eyes on god's promises magnify god today instead instead my friends of your problem secondly today change your words from talking about defeat and began to speak God's word, speak God's words over every situation, to speak God's promises over your situation. And finally today, call on the power, the power of his name, my friends, of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, praise God, offers, offer our part to, to have faith, have faith that God means what he says, and he says what, what he mean, means is he say, all things all things will work together for the good then part of this is not ask how but it's simply to trust trust that god honors his word god honors his word the word of god tells me that many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord the lord delivers him out of them all then part is to hold on by faith hold on by faith and to his promise with the eyes of faith yes you can see the hand of god the goodness of god in every situation yes my friends regardless of how painful painful short feet it can begin to consider if you be pleased in that set of circumstances for a specific reason my friends or a specific purpose yes a purpose such as on unlocking a stronger desire for prayer in your life a purpose such as awakening a hunger a hunger for righteousness and holiness like never before in your life yes my friends or perhaps the purpose of such test today is to expose the gift of the calling the gift of the calling lie lays dormant inside of you too often because we're focusing on the negative we don't see the positive in that situation my friend and we don't see what God is trying to do my friends could it be that the reason for this today difficulty is God wants you to reveal to you who he really is yes my friends perhaps this is a test where God wants to demonstrate himself to Jehovah Jireh, your provider, or perhaps he wants to demonstrate his strength and kindness to you. Praise the Lord and whatever the purpose of this trial that you are in today, I encourage you to do your part. Do your part and part is to hold on in faith and look and look my friends look look to Jesus look to Jesus the author and finisher of our faith my friends and beloved it's been a joy and privilege to be here this morning to minister the word of God God bless you richly praise the Lord do enjoy this special day I know do enjoy this special day God bless you richly do have a wonderful day in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise god god bless you richly in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name i love you very much in the love of god do enjoy this special day in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you jesus praise god hallelujah